<laughs> hey, you found me. This is the space where I share my personal stories of rediscovering the truth of my soul and how it is experienced in this unique body. My hope is to give you insight and often funny stories of what it actually looks like to resolve trauma patterns, to reconnect with your body and all of its sensations, and how to cultivate enough safety within yourself to start living the life that actually feels true to you. I'm hoping to leave you thinking, hey, if she can do it, then I can do it. Now, I'll be releasing new podcast episodes every week. So if you're up for this journey, then I highly recommend you subscribe, follow. Let's see where this soul body is taking me to next. Hey, beautiful souls. This is the time I wanted to be as responsible as a four-year-old who I was inspired by. So fun story time. I was sailing not so long ago on a catamaran with a family. I call them my mermaid friends. They um, husband, wife, and their two daughters. And I was sailing with them. I sailed with them last year for uh, almost like six weeks. And this time I was just with them with a shorter period of time. And I invited somebody else to come along with me as well. So there were six of us on the boat together. And you know, we'd been cruising for, let's say, like five, six days. We were finding a rhythm with it. We were communicating quite well as a team. We were playing lots with the kids, with the adults. We were swimming. It was just a really beautiful picture, perfect. Imagine dolphins, cue whales, like all of that. And it's really amazing to see, you know, when you add new people into dynamics, how that changes things. And now I am very inspired by this family and how they communicate with their children and also then just the kids themselves so this is the story of the youngest she's four and I was sitting in the saloon which is the like the lounge area of the catamaran and it was nighttime and the kids were kind of going like crazy excuse the noise in the background the kids were going a little bit like stir crazy it was the afternoon it was almost like witching hour and so, so they were kind of like, I mean, a boat is quite a small place anyway. It's like a 10 meter by 10 meter boat. So you can imagine kids kind of going crazy with their witching hour. Anyway, it was quite funny because they're just really beautiful when they go a little bit crazy. Um, and so we were there and I was sitting next to someone and we were just chatting and the youngest just goes and turns around to like run towards something and totally trips over this person's legs. Like, just drips over, flies forward, like to bang into the cabinet. And we're all just like, (gasps) oh, gosh. And and the mum comes and picks up the daughter and just kind of picks her up and just holds her uh, really gently and kind of walks down into the other side of the boat just to let let her daughter have a cry or just feel into what was kind of happening. So – she was down there for oh maybe like five minutes or something. And I would turn to the person next to me. I'm like, oh, it's not your fault. Like they were kind of in shock. I'm like, shit, did I just like annihilate this four-year-old girl? <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 it's fine. Like it was just an accident. Anyway, so then the daughter comes up the stairs. You can tell this sweet little four-year-old, she comes up and you can tell she's been crying. Her eyes are a little bit puffy and she just turns around and she's like, guys, I just didn't look down (laughs) and we were just sitting there like awestruck like what like yeah you just didn't look down that's (laughs) amazing it was just incredible to well one I mean I think this is like a, a really amazing example of what incredible parenting does uh because you know, the kid got to um like got support in that moment, physical support. She then also got emotional support, which was incredible. So that released through the tears. I mean, she was okay physically as well. Um, and then she also got mental support. So it was like kind of understanding what had happened. And so when she came up by this point, she realized that it was like an accident and she just turned and just tripped over that person's legs. And she kind of came back almost like heroic, being like, guys. I just didn't look down and it was really beautiful because you could tell that one that she was okay which is great and two that she almost felt empowered 
by taking responsibility of herself in this situation, like understanding the truth of the story, having that love and support there, and then to come back and to resume that connection in that space. And I was like, fudge, where do I need to be more like this four-year-old? Where can I be? Well, I guess, and it is different slightly as we get older because, like, I'm an adult now, so I'm meant to, like, support myself more. But I guess I look at it as how can I support my own inner child a bit more. And so this idea of when something happens, how am I able to physically support myself? And sometimes I might just put, like, a hand on my chest of, like, oh, I'm here, Tegan. I'm here. I'm here. Or I might go say to someone, like, hey, I just need a hug or just need to be held. And then to feel those emotions, like it would have hurt falling over. It would have hurt banging your head. It would have hurt maybe feeling a bit silly or just embarrassed. And so to release that in whatever way that looks like, whether it looks like angry, sad, whatever kind of label you want for it. And to release that and then to go over the events, almost like a news reporter. This is one of the reasons why I love NBC. It's kind of it supports you in doing that. So what was the actual situation that happened there before making any kind of stories out of it? Like she did that to hurt me or I feel so embarrassed. It's like, this is so embarrassing. I look so stupid or just anything like that. Just being like, what actually happened? And to then, because I guess that's the truth, right? What actually happened? How can I adult my own inner child when it feels vulnerable and say hey I'm here I've got you I've got support and then use the tools tactics my super powered brain to actually be able to address the incident for what it was actually without having a full trauma response to it I guess that's the good thing about being four year four years old your trauma is hopefully a lot less than by the time you get to me which is 34 years old but how can I support my system on a sensational level how can I support my mind my brain on a like an actual like literal level and myself emotionally as well and I just I just loved that so how can I hold myself how can I release emotion and then how can I come to the truth of what actually happened because that's so much of what I'm an advocate for is just being able to what is the truth in this situation? And I know sometimes it can be relative or people can have different truths within the one situation, you know, different versions of the story. But also what can be true for you may be different to someone else, but that can be truth for them. So we get a little bit complex. (laughs) Essentially, though, like how can I bring presence into the moment and also how can I stay connected to my community while also holding myself when I'm feeling vulnerable and I thought the way that that this creature did it was absolutely insane. So, uh, guys, I just didn't look down. Um, could be like for you. Guys, I just forgot my keys. Guys, I just didn't get eight hours of sleep. <laughs> Whatever it kind of is. Well, guys, I just have never done this before. I'm learning. You'd be like, oh, I get it. Uh, so that's my beautiful story about how I want to be responsible like that four-year-old and Yeah, I guess there's a curiosity there of like, is there anywhere in your life that maybe situations that could seem quite big and dramatic where actually there's a way in which you could hold yourself physically, mentally, emotionally to really support you and everything that comes up for you and to actually honour more of what's happening for you as opposed to playing into the drama that happens around it, which just perpetuates this kind of confusion and disconnection. Hmm. Where's that happening in your life? Hmm? 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 Anyway, that's my story. Um, I'll be doing more of them, especially with sailing and sexuality and all of all of the juiciness. Thank you so much for being here, guys. It's lovely to be back on Soul Body. I would love it if you subscribed and wrote a review or just let me know if you liked it or not. Until next time. <laughs>